Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the English articles. And when we talk about the articles, uh, they are tiny parts of English grammar, but they carry crucial functions and meanings. So what are these articles? Okay, specifically, there are three uh, that are usually used in English, especially a, an, and the. Okay, so as you can see from the letters, they're very small, okay, but they play a very, very big role in uh, English language, especially. Okay? And then, so, uh, a little tip. So, in order for us to be able to practice these articles, uh, we have to master the language. We need to read English books, and then we need to listen to spoken texts also, in order to, to understand uh, how they are used in uh, daily context. So, there are key aspects that we need to understand about uh, articles. The first, we have to understand the rules, okay? Because understanding the rules, we will be able to, to specifically use uh, any, any uh, specific articles in their places, okay? So, we have to understand the rules. And then number two, we also have to pay attention to exceptions. Okay, because in, in languages, of course, especially English also, they have exceptions. They have special cases in which particular rules that we have already understood in the first point I just said earlier, uh, they, they don't apply in uh, particular cases. So that's why we have to understand these exceptions too. And number three, we also have to pay attention to nouns, especially those countable and uncountable nouns, okay? Because they are used differently uh, uh, in relation to uh, the articles, okay? So we have to understand that. And then number four, we also have to understand the concept of definiteness and indefiniteness, okay? Definite and indefinite. What are these? Okay, we'll be talking about this later um, in, uh, in, in, in the future. Okay, now, so general concept, okay, I mentioned earlier, like we have to understand countable nouns and also uncountable nouns. Now, especially for countable nouns, we also have to differentiate those singular and plural nouns, okay, singular and plural nouns. Okay, why? Because the use of these nouns will influence the use of indefinite and uh, definite articles later. Okay, so because there are three, like a, an, and the, okay, a and an usually are called as indefinite articles, while the is called as definite articles. Okay, so, they're used differently according to what kind of nouns we are talking about, we are using. Okay? So when we use countable singular noun, for example, we have to use a, okay? like a dollar. Okay? And we have to use an, like an apple, especially when the first letter or the first sound of the noun is a vowel, so we have to use an. But and then when the first letter of a particular noun is consonant, okay, and then we have to use a. So we have used to use either a or an in this case. Okay, while when we are talking about countable plural nouns, in this case, we don't use any indefinite articles. So dollars and apples, okay? So not a dollars and not an apples, okay? So comparing these, so we have a dollar, dollars and we have an apple and then apples okay so they are used differently according to what kind of uh, plurality we're talking about um, and also uh, what kind of indefinite articles that we use either a uh, or an okay and then in addition to these two there is also a concept of uncountable nouns okay so for uncountable nouns usually Indefinite articles 
are not used. Okay, so like for money and for juice, okay, so we don't call a money or a juice, no, but just money and then that's just juice. Yeah. That's for indefinite articles. What about for definite articles? Definite articles, like the, say, is always used. Okay, so definite article is used for countable singular noun, it's used for countable plural noun, and it's also used for uncountable nouns. So like the, uh, the dollar, and then the apple, and then the dollars, and then the apples, and then the money, and then the juice, okay? Uh, when we compare to uh, those examples of uh, indefinite articles just now. Okay. Now, what, what does it mean by definite and indefinite nouns? Okay. So, well, when both speaker and listener know the thing being talked about, the noun is definite. Okay. So, the speaker and the listener understand the thing we are talking about, and then that should be a definite noun. It's specific. Okay. But when only the speaker knows the object, the noun is indefinite. Okay. So the listener uh, does not understand what the thing is being talked about, and then that's indefinite. Okay. So for example, when you say, I saw a man last night. Okay. So just I arrive and then I say, I saw a man last night. Well, the man, a man, is not known by the audience, by the speaker. So I use indefinite article, a. Uh, so a man. Okay. But then I continue my sentence. Now, the, the audience understands what I'm talking about. So the man that I saw last night, I could say, the man was walking slowly. So I saw a man last night, and the man was walking slowly. So a uh, and the. We can, we can talk about other examples like, give me a pen, okay? So in this case, when we ask somebody to give us a pen, it can be any pen, okay? okay. But when we say, give me the pen, we have a specific pen in mind to talk about, and, and the audience should understand which pen is this, okay? Uh, when we, when maybe we can point at the pen we want, okay? So a man, the man, a pen, and the pen. So examples of definite and indefinite uh, nouns. Now, so we also have to understand the concept of generic nouns. Okay, generic nouns. We need to see how nouns are used to refer to something in general. Okay, so when nouns are used to refer to something in general, they are called as generic nouns. Okay, in this case, article a is used for singular count nouns, and noun is used for plural count nouns. Okay. So like, we talk about a stone, when you say a stone is heavy. Okay. So here we are talking about the stone in general, so we should, you know, we should use a stone not the stone is heavy because we are not talking about specific tone but we're stone but we're talking about stone in general okay or we can also say stones are heavy okay but now because it's plural we don't use the the article okay water is very essential in life in life okay so we don't say the water okay but Water. Why? Because we are referring to this noun water in general. Okay? So that's the concept of uh, generic nouns. Now we continue to the fact that sometimes generic nouns are used with the. Okay? Uh, like for the species of animals. Okay? So when we talk about species of animals, we use the, even if they are generic. Yeah. And the number two, when we are talking about inventions, we also use the. Number three, when we talk about musical instruments, 
and then number four when we talk about groups of people okay like the japanese okay so uh, these four okay species of animals inventions musical instruments and group of people uh, uh, come with uh, definite article next certain rules okay so I mentioned earlier that we have to understand concept, rules, and exceptions, and so on. Okay, so there are certain rules here that we need to understand that uses the, okay, or definite uh, articles. They're not very specific in meaning, but when we use these nouns, they, we use them with the article the, okay? There are seven here that we will uh, look at, especially certain countries like the Netherlands, the US, the US, okay? when we talk about oceans, and then when we talk about rivers, okay? and when we talk about canals, we talk about seas, mountain ranges, and then groups of islands. Okay? These seven always come with the article the. Okay? Now, we continue with these rules, okay, but now we are talking about the nouns that do not come with the article the, okay. There are seven also that I put here, okay, that people's name with titles, okay. So, so when we use people's name and we use titles, we don't use the. And then when we talk about names of cities, okay, we don't, we don't use the for the names of cities, and then or names of countries, okay, with some exceptions. And then when we also talk about names of continents, we don't use the. When we talk about names of lakes, no the. And we talk about individual mountains, okay, because what we talked about just now was uh, uh, mountain ranges, but when we talk about individual, okay, one mountain, we don't use uh, the, and then individual islands, okay? But when it's a collection, groups of islands, and then we use the, okay? So I think these differences can, uh, can be understood, okay? But then we have to look at the concept and also the definition of those uh, nouns uh, particularly. Okay, so to sum up, uh, this means that we, in order to understand the use of articles, we have to think about the listeners. Okay? Do they know what we are talking about? If they know what we are talking about, because we have already introduced the thing we will be talking about, and then we use definite articles. If not, and then we will have to use indefinite articles. Okay? Number two, to sum up, is that are we introducing something or referring to it for the second time? Because when we are in the position of introducing something unknown by the audience, and then we have to use indefinite articles, but and then when we are referring to this one for the second time, we are talking about definite articles. Okay? And number three that we need to think about again, are you making a generalization? Because if it's a generalization, Probably no articles needed, but if it's specific, we need articles. And then number four, are we using count noun in its singular form? Okay. Because usually when we use a count noun or countable nouns in its singular form, we either have to use the article, indefinite article, or the definite article. We cannot use talk about them without any articles. Okay, see you again.